Okay, episode five. This is the cute little cup from Carol. Thanks, Carol. Okay, I did the drawing and that didn't film, so we're starting with that. Just a little white charcoal pencil on the black page. And I'm going to start with my gouache. And then we'll use some uh, colored pencils, wax colored pencils later. I thought I would do a bunch of bright colors on this one. It's just such a darling cup. I did take some liberties here, creative liberties, and made up a few shapes of my own. That's kind of a standard thing I do. So I'm putting in a few shadows. And now that that's dried, I'm going to try to make like a dirty yellow because it's not a, quite a bright white. So I added just some colors on my palette and a little yellow to warm it up. And here is just creamy, creamy, creamy gouache. Very fun to apply. I had someone ask me why I didn't draw the designs on top of the white, which definitely is a legit way to go. I, um, once again, something about carving in and out of the all these little shapes is just so fun. But there's no right or wrong way to do it, just however you want to do it. That's legit. And gouache does lend itself well to being painted on top of all the details on top of works really, really well. So you just have to keep doing it and then you'll figure out the way that you personally like to do it the most. So as you see, the white really absorbs in. It takes a few coats. I think I've got about three before I'm happy with it. And then at the end, I still will enhance it a bit with a charcoal pencil. I realized after I was all done that I didn't really get the shape of the cup really all that accurate. But anyway, it's still cute nonetheless. Yeah, the real cup is wider at the top, and I didn't quite get that. So this is just a waterproof graphite pencil, and I really grabbed it only because it's gray. I wasn't going to wet it down. White charcoal pencil to the rescue, getting all the highlights in and where it's lighter and brighter. And as you can see on the right there, I pulled a bunch of um, waxed or wax and oil based colored pencils to play with uh, and enhance some of the color. When my little shapes are smaller, I like to use colored pencils. You just have more control over the small shape because it's a tighter end. Uh, and when the shapes are larger, the Neocolor crayons are really, really fun to play with or oil pastels. Oh, looking at this little cup makes me want to have a hot cup of tea. Thank you, Carol. Supplies I used and a couple close-up shots. Anyway, there you go. Episode five, Fini. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.